This video will cover the use of ICV PERC and LVS Explorer for quick debug of shorted net related issues. The reason you'd want to use LVS Explorer with ICV PERC is that LVS extraction errors can only be seen after a full PERC run completes, which can be a long time for large cases. LVS Explorer, when used with ICV PERC, is a fast utility to see potentially shorted nets quickly. Issues in a PERC run that are caused by LVS shorted nets can manifest themselves as one of the below. Errors stating there's no valid power or ground nets found in the design, which could be due to a power ground short. Messages stating that the IO port nets are not found in the top block. Or if your run completes, you could see missing power clamps in the ESD network report. This could be due to a power ground short where the clamps were not seen because the devices themselves were shorted. To set up LVS Explorer, add Explore LVS in your ICV PERC run script, as shown. What this will do is quickly perform a text short analysis and quickly return if text shorts exist in the layout. Full PERC results will not be produced, so this should only be used when determining text short information. For further information on the shorts, use View Short to utilize View Short debugging, which we'll cover later in this video. Please see the IC Validator Explore LVS section of the IC Validator User Guide for more information on options which exist for the Explore LVS. One thing to consider when setting this up, LVS Explorer cannot be used with rule selection commands, such as dash SVC, or run set switches that utilize specific rule selectors, such as those which utilize violation name select commands. Doing so will suppress text short errors. For this reason, it's recommended that LVS Explorer be run on a simpler perk flow, such as a topology check, which usually does not utilize these commands. The options shown here are LVS Explorer switches, which can be found in the IC Validator user guide. While this video will not go over each of the switches, it is worth noting that there are several different options for the LVS Explorer, such as cells that are analyzed during the LVS Explorer run. If you only want to analyze certain metals versus all of the metals in your design, whether you just wish to check shorts or all types of text-based short checking, or if there are cells you wish to preserve, and not have ICV perform hierarchy related operations related to these cells. In the following example, we can see how LVS Explorer can be used for an ICV PERC run. For example, if we run ICV PERC on the experiment that we have in this example, we can see that PERC does not complete. In this case, it's due to a value error saying that net five, which we expected to be an IO net, cannot be found in the top block. To run LVS Explorer, insert the command explore LVS as shown in the run P2P script, which we're using for this example. Upon running again, ICP perk will not be run, but the short finder will be. Notice that the run completes this time. In ICV VUE, we can see that text shorts exist and using the DRC errors tab, we can see that we have several shorts between IO1, IO2, VSS2, BDD, and VSS nets. So we have a real problem here, but how do we tell where the shorts exist? Well, if we go back into the run script, we can use the command view short to create graphical data to debug these errors. Note, using view short will take a slightly longer amount of time than just explore LVS on its own. If we rerun, we'll now get a tab which relates to the shorts, which we saw previously by using LVS Explorer. Note now that we have a tab called Short Finder in ICV VUE. Using this, we can graphically cycle through all of the different layers involved in the nets and identify which net we think they belong to. For example, 
if we right click, we can zoom to the metal li listed, in this case via 4, and assign it to net IO2 or VSS2, as these are the nets that are seen with this shape. By doing so, we can use the highlight tools to disconnect the polygons and see how that impacts the nets. So therefore we can check and see our connectivity without actually having to rerun the tool. Please see the LVS short finder for more information on this utility, as this video is more just to let you know that it does exist and it can be used with ICV perk. Also different options exist, such as the ability to probe polygons in ICV workbench, as well as to check polygons within selected viewing areas of our layout viewer, and also further utilities where we can analyze net terminals, the metals on the nets, and their locations in the design. This concludes our introduction to LVS Explorer and View Short Finder with ICB Perk. For more information, please contact your Synopsys representative, or please check out information on Synopsys SolveNet or the ICV User Guide for more information on the aforementioned topics. Thank you.